Since transitioning, you haven't left this house. Of course I don't. People are out there and they suck. Well, I'm taking you on a date. Are you literally threatening me with a good time right now? I will drag you out if I have to. You wouldn't dare. Oh, no, 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 no. Darling, take me back. He said, Cash out Pazel. Matter of fact, scratch that. I'ma see you with stat just cause you fine as hell. Yeah. And I said, I'm well, thank you, baby. Thank Anything you. for my favorite lady. Ooh. Well, I gotta go. They just let me know that I could pick up my Mercedes. Girl. I got hoes. Might just be your nigga. In different area codes. What do you have to say to some of those state legislators who maybe have your jersey in their closets, who came and brought their kids to your game to yeah. cheer for you? That's, that's, that's another reason why I don't live in this state. A lot of people don't know that. I have to make decisions for my family. I mean, obviously the taxes is great. Okay. You know, having Wade County is great, but my family would not be accepted or feel comfortable there. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I don't live there. Nuke Radio. We make your eardrums bleed. I just shoved the nuke up my pussy. Here is a lie from the right-wing media. It was said that schools started packing cat litter for individuals that identified as cats, when in actuality, there is one school that packed cat litter. That was Columbine because of school shootings, just in case kids need to stay in the classroom and use the washroom. What is the cost of lies? I wasn't aware that was something a person could do. You know that audio that's like, oh, you want to be different so badly, you want to be different so badly. No, I'd rather fit in and be liked, but there's something wrong with me psychologically. I love that audio. It's a great audio. You know what? I can't use that audio. You want to know why I can't use that audio? Because the second I use that audio, all the cassettes are going to think that I'm talking about my trans identity. No, that's not what I mean. That's not what's wrong with me psychologically. What's wrong with me psychologically is a lot of trauma. And they said I'm a star now top ten. I ain't even gotta pop no more. So fly, I don't even gotta walk no more. But don't ask me about me and what's his name. We don't need to talk no more. I remember that. You cannot deny that you trespass on my tower almost every day. You cannot deny these not. Please help me. No, I'm sorry. I can't. But I can't. My child. Now that you've transitioned, does it really hurt getting hit in the chest? Yes, definitely. As much as the, you know. Oh, you mean my, <clears throat> I don't actually know. Shall we find out for science? For science. Okay. Oh my god. What is the analysis, Yuko? About, about the same, but it's been a while since I've been hit down there. Of course, wait, 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 only wait, one no, way to be no. sure. Ready? That's interesting. You know why? Why? Because... Transitioning has made you so emotional. You're the one that betrayed me. It was just the last pickle. We can get another jar. Oh, no, don't say it. It hurts too much. We are the Japanese Goblin! What the fuck did you just say? I have this thing. I'm transgender. So I give him a pass. This is a public service announcement. I, I be eating my spinach. They tried to clone my image. They burnt they London bridges. None of them bitches British. I know they know the difference. And I just fell in love with a gangster. So I hold him down like an anchor. He said if I keep it a hundred, that he keep me safe like a banker. Nowadays I be making him famous. She the princess, so fuck who you lames is. Of course I be pushing they buttons. I, I hold a control like the gamers. Like I've been drinking more. For the past five days Did you check on me? Now did you look for me? Why is everyone acting weird towards me? 
No, no, we're not. Good chill. Come on. No, seriously. The gossip drink till you choke us in. The gossip burn down your throat. trans women out there i have a question how do you know that you're a woman back when i was a kid and i heard the shania twain classic man i feel like a woman and she said let's go girls i goed do you guys ever like kind of like want to know what it feels like to get nutted in what LGBTQ America. Gay news, Joe Biden just did something no president has done before. For all transgender Americans watching at home, especially young people, you're so brave. I want you to know your president has your back. If you're trans or questioning your gender and fashion seems super overwhelming to you, don't worry. I'm here to help. We already talked about how to wear a skirt, but now I want to go through the different types of skirt. I can't go through all of them because I don't own all of them, but I can go through kind of the main ones and help you understand them a little bit more. This is a circle skirt. It's called that because it's a circle. <laughs> There's not much more to it. They're usually quite short, but they can go down to your knees. This is a mini skirt. If it went down to my knees, it would be a pencil skirt. Mini skirts and pencil skirts are tighter and they don't really give you much shape. They are just like really tight to your body. This is a box fleet skirt or a skater skirt. And if you're trans and questioning your gender, you're probably gonna go for this one first. It's kind of a rite of passage. This is the kind of skirt where the skirt goes spinny meme comes from. The final one I have to show you is a maxi skirt. It goes all the way to your ankles and can we just take a minute to appreciate the outfit? I mean, oh God. Like I said, there are a lot of other different types of skirt, but I only really own these ones and these are the most common types. Um, hopefully with these, you'll be able to search for them and find something that you like and something that suits you. Uh, please let me know if there's anything you'd like advice for in the comments. Seriously though, the outfit. I saw a quote on here and it said, God created trans people for the same reason. God created grapes, but not wine, yeast, but not bread. God created trans people so that I could experience my own divine act of creation. And I thought that was absolutely beautiful. I knew I was trans when I was three years old playing t-ball. I didn't understand why everyone else had to wear a cup and I didn't. Next, I was 10 years old when I got my first iPod touch. I remember connecting to my neighbor's Wi-Fi and googling why do i feel like a boy on the inside it was then that i finally had the vocabulary to put to how i was feeling already i was doing some reflecting and i am so lucky to be a trans person i get to see the world through such a unique lens it just it blows my mind all of the time i just celebrated my 24th birthday four years on t and three months post top surgery life is crazy I wish I could go back in time and tell younger me that life gets so much better. Moral of my story is you have to take care of yourself, you have to be nice to yourself, and you have to do whatever makes you happy. Life can be so amazing, but don't be your own biggest enemy. That's just absurd. You are a biological male. You can't get pregnant. The funniest part about these type of videos is that these biological men are also invalidating biological women with these types of statements, and let me tell you what I mean. So in this video, all Dylan says is that she just wants to be a mum one day, she can't wait to be a mum, and his instant, instant reply is, well you can't be because you can't get pregnant, you can't conceive, you can't carry it. Okay, so take away the fact that she's transgender, take that completely out of the equation. Does that mean that cisgendered biological women who can't conceive, men who have erectile dysfunction, people who adopt, are they not mums and dads? Have you just completely eradicated the fact that people can be parents outside of conception? Or what about your bro who got involved with a single mum and raised a kid as his own and put all of his effort into this child? Does he not get to call himself a dad? 
And I don't know what Dylan did medically, right? But for all you know, she could have frozen her sperm and could be planning to have biological children in the future. She would just have to use a surrogate. Do you know who recently used a surrogate to have their latest child? Kim Kardashian. Would you turn around and tell Kim Kardashian that she's not a mother? All Dylan said was that she can't wait to be a mum. And your instant reaction is, well, you can't get pregnant, so you can't be a mum. So next time a cisgendered woman is standing in front of you and she's got polycystic ovaries or she's got issues with fertilisation or she's got issues with her reproductive system, I want you to also look her in the eye and say, well, you'll never be a mum then. And the thing is, you can have your own opinions on transgender people. I'm not here to discuss actual transgenderism. What I'm here to discuss is the fact that you will use your argument to perpetuate transphobia, but you wouldn't use your exact same argument and your exact same logic on cisgender counterparts. Now, what the hell is going on in this country? Yeah, yeah. That's what I want to know. Yeah, what are the I rules mean, of the world? Well, no, what, what are the rules that say... Mm -hmm. I don't like what you're saying. Yeah. So I'm going to get a whole bunch of people yeah. to think like I think, and we're going to ban you from talking. Yeah. When did that become the law of the land? Funny you should ask, because I looked it up, and there is no law. No. That. No. There is no because law. Because there the, is no law. The that. whole point of this country is we have to figure out how to live together. I don't have to agree with everything you agree with. You don't have to agree with everything I agree with. That's why we have two parties. And, That's why we have these and conversations. And don't you want someone from the transgender community in the legislature to speak to her lived experience, yes, to speak right. on behalf of her constituents, because what she was saying is, I am fielding calls from families yes. in Montana. That's the type of representation you need. It's why women are running, it's why gay folks are running, because people want to be represented. Yeah. We're all yes. Americans, we all pay taxes. This is a party that says we believe in parents' rights. Mm -hmm. You're telling me that as a parent, I don't, I'm not smart enough to decide if my child and I need to have gender affirming. Our yeah. doctors are not involved. The, what is going on? So I can't, my, I can't decide what my kid reads. I can't decide yep. for my child what my child says is going on. Yep. You're telling me your beliefs, your, and they keep saying it, and I keep saying, what Bible are you reading? Because yeah. God was really clear. Very clear. This is not at all the flex that you think it is. The reason your trans kid says this stuff around you is because that's what they know you want to hear. They know you're not a safe person for them, and they know they cannot be themselves in front of you. So what they're going to do in order for you to give the minute bit of acceptance that I'm sure you're managing to eke out um, is to just say what you want to hear until they can get away from you. That's pretty sad, man. This is a public service announcement for anybody that does not believe in transgender people, that thinks we are delusional, that thinks children should not have access to gender affirming care. Let me introduce myself. My name is Reed. I am a student at the University of Virginia. I'm 20 years old. I transitioned when I was 12. Okay, and that sounds scary to people. But what that really meant is that I grew out my hair. I changed my clothes. I changed the pronouns that I asked people to refer to me as, and I started hormone blockers to give me more time, right? That's all it was. That's the entire process, you know? Like, it took two years before I did anything permanent to my body, right? Like, two years before I started estrogen. And I'm so, so truly sorry that we did not consult you in that doctor's appointment. I'm sorry we didn't ask for your permission beforehand. Like, really? are bad but the circumstances were pretty high stakes you know like i was a miserable kid miserable because anytime i would leave my house people would harass me they would mock me they would ridicule me because i was like a very obviously queer little boy that's what people saw when they looked at me and that was not the person that i was on the inside okay like i just knew i was a girl in the same way that anybody else knows that they're a boy or a girl or non-binary, right? Like, it's just something different than, like, biological sex. I get that I will never be able to convince you of that, but that's what it was. Like, I'm telling you, that's what I felt. And you weren't there, right? You didn't grow up with me. You weren't my parents. You didn't spend 12 years getting to know me as a kid. 
in order to know that this was the best possible course of action for my survival. Okay, you weren't there. You weren't in rural South Carolina when parents would come to my principal and complain that I was turning their kids gay. Okay, you weren't there when I got dressed up taken away for the entire class when I was four years old because I like to dress up as a girl of my own free will. Yeah, I remember that. Fuck you, Deborah. You were the worst preschool teacher ever. <laughs> Sorry, a little off topic. But like, you weren't there. You don't know me. You don't know anything about my life. And just because of your lack of knowledge, your lack of experience with me and like my needs as a kid and my needs now as an adult trans woman, like you don't get to like retroactively impose limits on that. Like you don't get to take away my estrogen now just because you like happen to care now, right? And, like if you've never met me, you don't get to comment on my life experiences. You don't get to like make up restrictions to impose. Okay, like you haven't lived it. If you can't understand why I would like make these decisions, why my parents would, then you obviously don't understand what's going on. First you hated black people, then you hated Jews. Now you're hating everybody. Florida lawmakers have come under fire for allegedly kidnapping transgender children during a protest. In Transgenderism must be eradicated from public life entirely. Trans woman are not real women. Gender is for real. Gender identity is for whichever DSM you choose to use is a mental illness. We are tired of being shut down. We are tired of being shut down. I don't want to. Another anti-trans bill was just passed a few days ago in Tennessee. What about this idea that you, you call transgender people mentally ill? I, I do say that transgenderism is mental illness. Actually, because just like the four-year-old can't answer what is a girl, well, this is one of the problems with this left-wing gender ideology, is that no one who espouses it can even tell you what these words mean. It's like, what is a woman? Well, can you tell me what a woman is? No, I can't. If you can't define what a woman is, why are you trying so hard to redefine it? Because but, it's not for me to say. I, womanhood looks different for everybody. What do, you, what do you define a woman as? An adult human female. And what does a female mean? Uh, well, well, that's how do you, how do you define a female? someone with, with female reproductive organs. Okay. Someone who's, you know, here's the thing. When you're, when you're a female, it goes right down to your bones, your DNA. So that's why if someone dies, okay. we could dig up their bones 100 years from now. We have no idea what they believed in their head, but we can tell what sex they were okay. because it's, in, it's, down in, it's, it's in, ingrained in every fiber of their being. Interesting. This is correct. In 100 years, if they dug up my body for whatever reason and ran tests or whatever the hell they do, they would absolutely see that I was a biological male in my life. And this piece of information is entirely irrelevant to me or the quality of life that I'm living. <laughs> and it's so cringe that this discourse has devolved into what is a woman, what is a woman, when every person in that room knows exactly what a woman is. It's just one side pretending not to. <laughs> the same way we observe what is a female, what is a male in every other species of animals on the planet is the same way we observe it with each other. So I'm trying to understand, your definition is that a woman is someone who is female, you said, right? Correct. Is okay. a biological female. It's not his definition. It's the definition. It's just like it's not your truth. It's the truth. And you can have a slant on the truth based on your own biases, but there's the truth and there's the definition. So what happens if we have maybe someone who is female, identifies as a woman, right? You know, cisgender woman, right? As you explained, as you just explained, but maybe doesn't have the ability to reproduce. Well, Maybe it doesn't have those organs that you're talking about what, that are reproductive what? organs. She's still a woman. This is the lamest talking point. And I remember making this when I was like 20. Like I remember at the like very start of my transition, I was never ever as like fully woke as so many of these activists, right? But the little bit of like I did dip into like the annoying talking points, I would say things like, well, I know a woman who doesn't have a uterus. And it's like, cool, she's still a woman. Like, I don't know what I thought I was doing making that point, but... It's just embarrassing. <laughs> it's just like a man who gets his junk blown off in war is still a man. Like, since these people can't say it, let's just, let's just, this is how easy it is. A woman is an adult biological female. A trans woman is the adult biological male who presents as a woman visually. This is not a difficult concept. And this is a concept that we had figured out quite a while ago before these types of people came in and tried to switch everything up. People understood. You know what I mean? There's a reason why the word trans is in front of woman. 
because it indicates it is something different. Would I ever be technical and annoying in a real life scenario and call myself a trans woman and just have to be so technically correct that I would never say the word woman? No, in my real life, my family, my friends call me a woman because that's the way they see me. You know what I mean? But the reality is I'm a trans woman. I was not born a woman. I was not born a girl to age into being a woman. There are so many aspects of womanhood that I cannot relate to. Are there parallels? Yes. If I'm sitting with my female friends, is it like I'm just so removed from their experience walking through the world as a woman that I can't relate to them? Of course not. There's plenty I relate to, especially for the fact that I did transition and to a large extent, I've been able to integrate into society and be treated as such. So. I would relate to a woman much more than I would relate to a man. When I'm hanging out with my friends who are men, there are certain things that I don't relate to, I don't understand, I don't have in common with them because I don't live my life like that. This in no way makes me a biological female. I will never be that and that is okay. I don't understand why this is like distressing information for other trans people and also I don't understand why it's not distressing to me. Maybe it should be distressing to me, but it's not. We are not the same. Even if we can draw parallels, which we can, we are not the same. I will never understand menstruating, giving birth, being pregnant, being raised as a girl. None of that. I have any knowledge or well, I won't say any knowledge. I understand it from like a technical standpoint, but I will never have any experience in that. And that's okay. I'm okay with that. I have answered the question. You stood up here and said trans women are women. Yes. Tell me what you mean. What is a woman? Womanhood is something that, just as Ethan explained, I cannot define because I am not but myself. But you used the word. So what did you mean when you said trans women are women if you don't know what it means? Right? You do not have to be a woman to define what a woman is. You don't have to be a cat to define what a cat is. I don't have to be this iPhone to define what my iPhone is. Either way, both sides of this debate are really just talking past each other and it's very, very... Like, I can't believe trans discourse has even devolved into this. The concept of what a transsexual is used to be considered in every scientific and, you know, every literature ever, an intense medical issue that afflicts a very small portion of the population. It can be treated in some cases by transitioning, and for some people, this creates a net positive result for their life. I am one of these people. And the goal was to integrate, be part of society, and honestly, shut the f*** up. It was about shutting the f*** up. Up. It was about I'm gonna transition and then just live my life. And I understand that I don't even do the whole shutting the f up part. I run my mouth more than anyone. However, at least I'm able to see both sides here and attempt to build a bridge. There is no reconciliation to be had between the Addisons of the world and the Matt Walshes of the world. Like they are on two different planets and there are no shuttles going back and forth. There is a middle ground that exists here, but it seems like no one's willing to, to get there. And it's crazy because discourse like this exists on just such a different plane than anything relatable to my experience or like my life as a trans woman like it's all just stupid isn't it clown world what can you say